So hello my lovelies, I'm coming at you guys with a video on some metaphysical products. I'm super excited because this is another black owned company and she's absolutely amazing. I actually had the pleasure of speaking with her and her energy is just absolutely beautiful and she's beautiful so I just want to share some of the products that I have from her website. I will leave her website right here as well as in the description box below as well as her YouTube channel. She does readings on her channel and if you want a personal reading from her you can book that as well. So I'm going to leave all her information as well as her Instagram in the description box below. So let's get started on some of the lovely things that I have today. I love incense. Like literally I use incense like on a daily basis and pretty much I use it for many reasons. I use it when I'm doing my meditations. I use it when I'm cleansing. I use it as an air freshener. I use it um, to help me when I'm smudging or when I'm just trying to clear out the energy, depending on what the actual incense stick is, because basically, obviously, there's different type of incense. You can get Palo Santo, you can get lavender, you can get so many different herbs. And I just pretty much love them. I grew up with always having incense burning. My mom burns incense like on a daily as well. And they're really good for, you know, like rituals or whatever you, you wanna do with it or just keeping good energy in your house. I also like to light incense before anybody comes over my house. And when people leave, I also light incense. So I have this huge pack right here of meditation incense. This is the Hem brand. And if you're an incense burner, you've probably heard of this brand. It is a big brand that's made in India and they have so many different types of incense. So I love this one. I use this to meditate. I love this brand. This is like honestly one of my favorite brands. If I don't use Hem, I actually get incense from like um, local places so typically when I'm back home and I'm like in Queens or something like that I'll get a lot of my incense from like local um, people you know Jamaica Ave if you guys know um, I'll get my incense from there the second thing I got from her is this Define feminine elixir and it comes in this beautiful bottle right here and it's charged under the full moon this oil activates your divine counterpart now it doesn't necessarily have to be sexual but when I have used this oil, I do hear from my partner, like within a short period of time. Now we already talk pretty often, but it's still something that like I do feel has, it has something, all right? Now she also suggests if you are very in the mood, okay, like very horny, do not use this oil because it's just going to enhance that feeling. So, I mean, unless that's what you want, I mean, live your life. But whatever energy you're in, it amplifies that. So it's best to use this when you are in a good energy, positive energy, do not use this when you're feeling down or anything like that because it will amplify that energy. It comes like this and typically how I've been using it, I actually just apply it to my wrist. So I just take a little bit and I just, rub my wrists together. I put it on my wrist because that's where we can feel our pulse and I just feel like that's something for me it's connected to you know our heart. Our heart is what keeps us alive so when I'm putting this on it's like amplifying that like not only the energy that I'm here and I'm present but you know I'm calling in positive and loving energy when I'm putting this on my pulse. That's how I use it but again you could use it however. I only use this if I'm like boy I need to talk to you about something real quick. <laughs> That's when I use this oil um, but it's it's very interesting. As far as the smell goes it's like reminiscent of like floral mixed with like a hint of baby powder if I had to describe it. So after a while the scent does kind of dissipate but it is very strong so a little bit goes a long way and if you're really sensitive to fragrance again a little bit goes a long way but mm, I'll be putting that on. Yeah. Okay. The next two things that I have is her love and money oils. This right here is her money oil and you could place this on important documents. You could put just a small amount. I have some on my hand already. Let's just rub that in because we need some money coming in. <laughs> um, you could place this on important documents, on contracts, whatever, just a small amount. You don't have to get crazy. You could actually use this. She suggests, you know, if you're going to the bank, 
You could rub this on your hands before you open the door of the bank. You could put this on your money that you're depositing in the bank or that you're taking out of the bank. Basically just so you can continue to manifest money. And I just feel like whenever you're using any type of oils or any type of anything that has like the power to bring something in, it's very important that when you're doing it, you set the intention first. So it's like, it's not just about, oh, I have money oil in my hand, so money's gonna come to me. It's setting the intent that like, okay, money is about to come in. I receive money, I have money, I have an abundance of money, I have a flow of money. It's it's setting those affirmations and those intentions so that you yourself believe that you're summoning that to yourself. So it's more than just rubbing it on stuff. You have to actually really believe it and set that intention because manifestation is really, really crazy. But what I'm learning more and more as I'm manifesting all these things in my life that's like happening at the exact timelines that I've been saying is the more specific you are, the better your manifestations are. Because sometimes we ask for something and we don't realize that we're not being specific in what we're asking for. So we may get something and we're like, oh my God, this is what I wanted, but it's not in the situation or the way that you've seen it because you were not specific with your manifestation. So when you're using these oils, definitely have intent, be specific, and say what it is you want, whether that's an amount, how you want the money to come in, where you want, where you want the money to come from, or whatever the case may be. But the beautiful thing about this, it's gonna last you a long time because you do not need a lot of this oil, okay? You should not be smothering anything in this oil. Okay, so you could use this on your credit cards, you could use this on money, you could use this on things that you're trying to draw money to, whatever that means for you, you could put it on your wallet, in your wallet if that's what you're comfortable doing, it's however you want to use it. But again, the biggest thing about using anything when it comes to spirituality is setting the intent and setting the affirmation and being specific on whatever it is that you want. That's the most important thing. It does not suggest using this oil on your face, but you could use it on your body. It is organic and the base of it is sunflower oil. So it is an organic natural oil. So it's natural herbs as you can see. This one has like things like rosemary in it. The next oil we have here is her love oil. This oil is really great for also drawing in your divine counterpart as well. That never has to be romantic. That could be something as far as like drawing in a partner that becomes your best friend or you know a, people think that soulmates are just supposed to be romantic relationships but soulmates could actually be friendships they could be like literally you have a soul contract with someone that you're going to go through life with but that's like your best friend that you could tell anything to it doesn't necessarily always have to be romantically involved so with this it's kind of one and the same you could use this oil on your body, not your face, and pretty much you gotta set the intent and the manifestation for whatever type of love you're trying to draw in. Whether that's self-love, whether that's a romantic love, whether that's a love for, again, a best friend, whether that's love for, for someone else, whatever the case may be, you have to set the intent. Now, this one has lavender, it has rose in it, and the base, again, for this one is also sunflower oil. Another beautiful thing about this oil, it does have rose quartz, so it's infused with the energy of a rose quartz and if you guys don't know anything about me I love rose quartz it's actually the crystal that I have the most of in my home like I have so many rose quartz because it's just such a beautiful stone and what it represents is so beautiful so I have a lot of that you could use these oils to dress your candles as well so if you do any like seven day candles or whatever candles you use to do your candle magic you could use these as well for that and don't get crazy just a little bit you do not want to smother flammable things in oil okay so the next thing I want to talk about is my seven day candle. So I got a seven day candle from her. This is a Scorpio candle and she has candles for each zodiac. Candle magic works like every color has a purpose. Yellow represents clarity, creativity, and manifestation. Blue usually represents communication, but it could also represent calmness and forgiveness as well. So this candle is pretty much about getting clarity, forgiveness, being calm, and being able to properly communicate. When I'm ready to dress this candle, I will, but I'll do that when I get back. So I love seven day candles. I use candles for different things, and I know I have never really talked about candle work on my channel, but I definitely believe in the power of it, and our ancestors definitely speak to us and spirit through candles and you know luckily I've had really great luck with candles but if you look into candle magic you will see some of the crazy things that can happen when you're trying to manifest or bring certain things to you so 
love candle magic if you've never heard of it you should definitely look into it because it is a beautiful thing the next thing I have is this amazing box of my favorite goodies ever which is my smudge sticks as you can see here she has the most gorgeous smudge sticks so we have all sage smudge sticks this one is a dragon's blood smudge stick and these are just regular smudge sticks this one has like lavender i always say this word wrong i'll put it right here i always say that flower name wrong and then we have the chakra smudge stick in the middle right here but the most exciting thing in this box honestly you guys is her deck oh my goodness her deck is amazing this is a major and minor deck her artwork on here is like the most beautiful, black, amazing artwork I've ever seen. Like I was really, really looking for a new deck that had just beautiful black queens on it. And she provided that with her divine feminine deck. Like literally, I showed my sister and she was like, oh my God, I was like, this deck is everything and more so i haven't actually like really played around with it as of yet because i like to really like get to know my decks before i start using them but i first wanted to record this video but i was so excited for this deck because it's truly the most beautiful deck that i have and it's literally like the i have one egyptian tarot deck but it's not as like black as I wanted it to be you know even though the pictures in it they are brown skin and so they're you know a little lighter complected which is fine but it's like I love that this one has different shades of black women because we come in all different shapes and sizes hair textures and colors so I love that she incorporates that in her deck and I'm just so excited to start playing with this one because literally I needed a, a woman of color deck for myself and then I will probably get another one just so I could have that for like readings for other people but this is like I'm so excited so definitely check out her deck I'm just like so thrilled about that I also have her honey spray right here which matter of fact let me spray right now <laughs> don't get crazy with it you don't need to get crazy but this is something that you could spray around your house when you're trying to draw in money but again no matter what you do no matter what you spray, what you put on your body, make sure you have the intent. So this one, it smells so good. It smells like baby powder. I just use just very little. And honestly, you could do this before you do any money rituals, before you do anything. Like, I don't know if you have Rose of Jericho, but that's like one of the main things I use when it's like, ooh, I really need money to come in. I can spray this before I even start dealing with that. Do what you want to do with your, with your products, but the biggest thing is the intent, setting the intent first. Then I have this lovely tapestry. I was gonna open it on camera, but I was like, ah, uh, I think I'll just show you guys a picture of it. But tapestry is just so amazing because you could use it for many things. You could use it, I used to have you know, the tapestry on my wall behind me, but you could use it for your altars, you could use it as a blanket, you could use it when you're meditating. Like this one, I think I'm gonna travel with this one. So this will be like my, my meditation yoga type um, tapestry when I'm like traveling. So that's why I haven't really taken it out because I want to take it when I leave for Costa Rica next month because that's where I want to use it I'm gonna let that like be my travel one so I could take in all that travel energy every time I go somewhere different next thing that I got is her spiritual first aid kit this y'all you could take this to travel okay this is like your your kit for everything I have her amazing affirmation deck which I have yet to open as of yet I need to play around in this I have her journal you could write different goals for each month in it you could write whatever you choose to like literally it's just it's your world you could write your dreams also like you could write any manifestations that you have of course we got some Palo Santo and then we got some more white sage to clear any energy of course, we got some Florida water. I use my Florida water to clean. I use my Florida water for my Rose of Jericho. I use my Florida water, sometimes I just put it on my body. I use it sometimes to put it on my doors, my entryways, and that's pretty much how I use Florida water. I wipe my cabinets down with it, my floors down with it, and just a couple drops goes a long way, so you don't gotta get crazy. Selenite stone, I love this stone. This is my second stone that I have the most of in my house because selenite is really great at removing negative 
energy but it also is really great at charging your crystals and removing any bad energy on them so I have cellulite in every one of my rooms I got another cowrie shell I love cowrie shells I actually use these when I'm smudging to either use to hold my herbs or to put out my smudge sticks. I even sometimes, you know, hold crystals in them. The next thing that I have is this cellulite that has all of the chakras on it. I have this cellulite tower. It's so beautiful. It has all the chakras on it. I love towers because I feel like towers kind of radiate whatever energy they're good at, like upwards. And I just love having towers. This is actually my first cellulite, like, like upright tower. So I'm actually really excited because I will actually be putting this one in my room and I'll be taking the cellulite that I do it, do have in there and I might move it to a different room. But I think this is absolutely beautiful. I think it's very important to have cellulite because this is just such a powerful stone. I put this stone on myself if need be as well. The last things that I do have is this beautiful necklace right here which has the evil eye on it the evil eye represents protection and it's just so beautiful it comes on this little chain and because i love you guys so much i decided that i'm going to be having a giveaway this is the first giveaway prize that i will be giving right here the second would be this beautiful incense holder i actually have this incense holder it's buddha with the seven chakras on it this is actually in my room this is like <laughs> The cutest incense holder. It's my favorite incense holder I've ever had. Because normally I just get, you know, the little wooden thing. And then I found this and I was like, <gasps> ah, and I've had it now for like four years because it's been in two, actually three households now. So it might even be five years. Um, but I love it so much. So I'm definitely giving these away. The only rules that I have is, of course, you have to be a subscriber. So definitely hit that subscribe button below. You definitely have to follow Just Sin Roy on Instagram. I'll leave her Instagram right here, as well as following me on Instagram at I am Lindy Elaine and just comment in below that you joined the giveaway and that is it I will definitely be choosing a winner by the end of the month and by the end of the month I mean the end of March and I will definitely send those two amazing things to you guys and yeah I just really appreciate you guys for taking the time to watch this video I love sharing like my different metaphysical spiritual products with you guys of course if you have any questions or want to see how I use any of these items definitely leave a comment below as well because I I guess I don't really have any videos showing you how I use certain things for the most part. Maybe some of my videos I do, but not like as in depth. So if there's anything that you want to see how I use it and my spiritual practices, definitely leave a comment below. But again, definitely check out Justin Roy. All her information will be in the description box below. Let's continue to support black owned businesses, especially when it comes to spirituality. Let's support our own. And yes, I'm just so excited. And I hope you guys have a marvelous day or night, whatever time it is. I'll see you lovelies later. Deuces.